Uh, yeah, I think I think I want to get out there. Um, I think this has been like the healthiest I I done been to play in preseason. So I'm I want to get some reps in. You know, uh, build chemistry with the quarterbacks, just gel with the team. I feel like it'll be good for all of us. What's it like uh, for you personally to buy into this new system, this new way of doing things? Was it easy, adjustable? What was it like for you? Uh, from the first day I met really everyone in the building, I knew that it's like I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to love these guys. And, uh, yeah, this year, yeah, you know, I'm going to love these guys. And it's been back and forth, you know, them trusting me, I'm trusting them, trusting their process, and them, me being accountable. So uh, that's pretty much what we've been building. How much do you pay attention to what Vegas analysts say about the expectations for the team this season? Uh, I have no clue. Yeah, I, I don't know. What's uh, what's your feeling about not having Kyler for X amount of time? Uh, I mean, whenever he's out there ready, he's gonna be ready. I mean, for me, my job is to go out there and be open for whoever the quarterback is and make plays for the team. So that's all I'm gonna go out there and try to do. How good can you be with whatever quarterback is throwing you the ball? I mean, can you still be the real you? You don't have. Um, I feel like I got the utmost confidence in myself that, you know, I could be a playmaker, uh, whoever's out there at quarterback. Can you explain the one up next quote tweet you had about Adrian Peterson's 2012 season? Oh, yeah, you know, it just sparked some motivation for my guy that, uh, you know, people count him out. But I know the competitor he is whenever he is out there. I mean, I ain't saying, you know, he might win the MVP, he might not, but I know he's that caliber of player that he's a caliber MVP type player, and I know he'll get back to that. Without, without Hop around, obviously everybody looks to you to be like that, the number one guy. What's, what's your expectations of handling that role? Uh, just the way I come out and work every day, the way I attack the practice field, the way I attack, you know, me and, so, you know, I know God's looking at me. So I just want to set that standard. So when we're going preseason, regular season, you know, every guy just know this is the standard that we're going to be. This is how we're going to attack. And that's pretty much how we've been going through training camp. Big year for you and the team. I mean, but you being under contract here. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm just, I'm just, you know, taking it day by day. Uh, I'm under contract right now. So I'm just trying to do what I got to do. Uh, I, I mean, I feel like it's, it's good. They put me in position uh, to make plays and uh, move me around. So I'm excited uh, to see what I could do. You mentioned wanting to get out there. Do you expect to get out there on Friday night? Uh, we, I haven't really talked to him about it. Um, I know if I'm not there, probably this game. And if I am, I know probably I'm, I'm going to be in there eventually, one of these games. So I know I'm, I'm looking forward to it. What, what, what's your thoughts on uh, Clayton in terms of how he's handled? everything in the offseason and the camp. So I feel like he's progressing. Uh, you know, the mistakes he made in the spring, he don't make them same mistakes no more. Uh, he's taking taking things in stride, and he's continuing to uh, get better each and every practice. What kind of quarterback is Colt McCoy for this team right now? Like I said before, Colt is like another coach out there. Uh, you know what to expect from Colt, and you got to be in your spot. He holds everybody accountable, so uh, he's, he's good to have out there. Michael was very complimentary of you been complimenting of him. Juco highlights dating back a couple of years ago. What have you seen from him? <coughs> been surprised by how quick he's kind of taken a hold of a couple spots out there on the field? Oh, yeah. I mean, even in the draft process, I liked Mike, and I was hoping that we brought him in. So when we did, you know, he was everything that we expected, even more. Uh, he goes out there, he works hard, he uh, competes, and I feel like he's going to be a great addition for us. What you thinking of when you see Isaiah Simmons playing deep safety, the size of him playing that position, and his body type. Yeah, uh, he's comfortable back there. Uh, talk to him, you know, he's excited uh, to show what he could do back there. And we're excited for him. You know, we, uh, you know, in practice, we're going to attack him, make sure he's, he's ready, ready for it. So uh, I'm glad to see him, you know, back there thriving. Marquise, when you got here, when you got here originally on draft day, you said you were excited to play in that four wide offense, the air raid kind of the Oklahoma style. Yeah. Are you concerned this year when they brought in a whole new offensive scheme and new plan? Uh, not really. I mean, cause, I mean, I played, I played in Baltimore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I played in Baltimore, so like, I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't been in it. So, uh, 
when I when I met with these guys and they they told me their philosophies and their thought process, I was like, okay, you know, I could work with I could work with that, and I feel like there's something that we need as a, as a team that we could thrive in. When Kyler is healthy, how do you feel like he'll fit into this offense? Because like you said, it's it's different. Oh, uh, he's gonna take it to a whole nother level. I mean, Kyler's that guy. You put him in any offense, he's gonna raise that level of the offense. So, you know, however we look and without him out there, we're gonna look better when he's out there.